But listen here. Oh, I'm not. I'm going to be doing this thing. Oh, God. But, man, listen here, man. Looks like Sweetie out here going on the troll. She's going on a little uh, little promo to, a promo run, I want to say, because the album dropping and everything. But it looks like... Uh, Jada Breezy is reacting to Sweetie, among other people, saying that uh, women are running the rap game. This is what she says all females rap about. And he says all females rap about is selling their kitty cat. But uh, let's uh, see the clip that's going viral about Sweetie. It goes to show that this is the reason why women is running, you know, rap and hip hop. Because there's just so much violence and disrespect in the, in the male music. You got to think, like, remember when, what was that, like 16, 17? Remember when, like, YG, Tyga, Chris was out? It was, like, fun. Big Sean. Big Sean. It was fun party right. music. T-Fly. Yeah. But it was, yeah. like, fun party music. It wasn't like, I'm going to do this to you and this, this, you know? Right. So it's like, I feel like we got to raise the vibration with the music and get back to having a good time. Yeah. We're not raising the vibration. We're raising the murder rate. What are you talking about? We love all this murder music. Murder, murder, murder. I got murder on my mind. Oh my God! Isn't that what you said when I started doing this episode this month? Yesterday, yesterday when I started listening to all the episodes, she's like, "I'm gonna start calling you Little Mel." Yeah, Little Melly. <laughs> nah, but uh, I mean, I understand what she's saying. The fact that all these rappers out here making all these bang bang shoot 'em up songs, like, yeah, it's going big in the streets, but when it goes like the mainstream and winning Grammys and stuff, like, that's why you got to be a little like little boat. You gotta take that walk to Poland, baby. Yeah, hey, exactly. You know, he got him. But at the same time, you can't say women are running the rap game when all the songs are there. And they already talked about it. Lot the of only thing they got to offer is their body. That's why Glorilla is the GOAT because she ain't got a body. She got a voice. Exactly. And, and, and like they said before, like Lotto just had like 130 songs just leaked. And she Nobody over doing, cares. she's over doing reference tracks for everybody. So you have females out here running rap games. You got one female writing a whole bunch of y'all songs. You got party. We got partisan writing uh, Cardi B songs. Little Yachty wrote for City you Girls. You got Little Yachty over here writing for City Girls. You got all these men out here writing these hits and stuff for these girls. But then you say, "Oh yeah, oh." But the I thought females they are said it was my lyrics, my choice. Lies, man. Lies. I'm kidding. That was a bad joke. Lies, man. Lies, man. I f I feel. But. I Sweetie I feel like they should got just... ki killed by karma immediately after this. You know why? Why? She only got 2K sales. And it was probably me listening to her 500 times. Because <laughs> I got her that many numbers. <laughs> you, first off, my calls didn't even listen to Sweetie. Don't, don't, don't let him cap like I'm that. I'm kidding. I was just on her Instagram. Lies. Don't cap. It looks like your fans are, fans are confused. As Sweetie only sells 2K copies of her last EP, the little six pack she dropped. And she has 13 million followers on IG. So y'all can What like, percentage is that? That's like less than. 2,000 out of 13 million. That's, that's like, like a. Point oh. Oh, 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 it's like oh, a half, half a percent. A That's a low conversion rate. It doesn't sweetie. make any like the fact that you can you can be out here. You look at all sweetie pitches. They do like two hundred k, a hundred k, a million k, two point two million, a million k. You can do two million, three million views. She does like lick uh, lip lip stuff. She does hair stuff. Everything she posts on IG does way more than two thousand. But so as soon as you so you telling me that. Y'all couldn't even listen to three songs? Y'all can like her pictures, but couldn't listen to three songs? That's just crazy. Let's hear what DJ AK's two cents on the subject. If you look at Sweetie, Sweetie, I, I'm not, because some of these artists, I don't want to, I'm not trying to throw strays at them, but there's Sweetie and two to three more artists that are females. It's like four of them. It's a four pack. Okay. They don't have an original bone in their body. Their best song is sampling some other shit that either your older brother liked, your uncle liked, or maybe your daddy or mommy. My type, that's free colleague, nigga. Stop it. Let's keep it a bean. <laughs> they don't have no fan base. Also, another thing. This is why Nikki shits on all of them. They not writing their music. They got writers writing the music to old school samples that people going to like anyway. It's a creator hit. It's yeah, see, exactly. Like, it's like what he's saying. So if you get, like, imagine you get. Uh, it's like what happened with Coyle Ray. 
she got hot on TikTok for all her little TikTok music and her TikTok dances, but when it came to real albums, her TikTok viewers didn't show up. Didn't yeah, she, she sell like she 5K sell like, first? She only sold like 11K, her first album, like 11, 15K. That was, a, that was an album album. That, that wasn't was even real. no EP. That and she was, had a lot of features on that. That was her after having a couple TikTok songs do a couple million views on YouTube, thinking that she had the juice, so she released the album but and that's only what goes, sold 11K. But that's what goes to show you that like these these a lot of these female rappers, like besides Megan Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, and Cardi B, they really don't have like a following, a fan base. Like and Cardi B's only had one album her whole career. And people still be on her. She's had mixtapes, but only one album her whole career. Exactly, but it's like Chief Keef. Like Chief Keef, he can do what he do. Like he can like drop a he can drop a tape like to this year, and then not drop a tape for like into like five years. Because when he drop the next tape, his fans gonna listen to it. But the simple fact that like she came out with an EP out of nowhere, she didn't announce it that much to anybody. She just dropped it like she was Beyonce. You ain't Beyonce. You you ain't the Queen B. You ain't got it like that. She got it like that. In the looks department. That's it. I mean, yeah, you look you look bad, but I mean, think about all the like all the other female rappers look bad. I don't need her to sing. Such a big must Whoa. emotional damage. But I mean, that is pretty sad. And then and then she was trying to troll, and uh, looks like she got into it with a person here. And then on top of that, looks like Metro even Sony Digital had to jump into it. Sony Digital reacted to. If I had millions of followers and my album sold 2K, probably would just delete all my social media because y'all lying to me. 13 million followers, hundreds of thousands of likes and all pictures, but album sold to less than 2K copies. That's crazy. The math ain't math. It ain't making no sense. I mean, I feel the same way he feeling like I said earlier before. If you listen yeah, they say the rule on business. It wasn't just Sunny Digital, though. Like, it the, a bunch put, of people. put all the blame on him. A whole bunch of rappers and producers said the same thing. So don't get mad at Sunny Digital if you're a Sweetie fan. Also, yeah, because Hitmaker, a.k.a. Youngberg, you know, the one that had the Transformer chain, they had it snatched off. You know, he came out and said, oh, yeah, you know, she, Sweetie should have did something with me. You know, uh, you should blame her management for this. Sweetie could do a podcast with us. Hit the Instagram, Tales from the Crib 210, <laughs> Sweetie, and let's get sweet. Yeah, I mean, you know, she you might be her type. You might be her eight eight figures, eight figure dude. I'm gonna be like uh uh what's it called? Well, you can be like a Eve Eve dude, that billionaire, that billion oh you be you gonna be like Sierra. I'm gonna Sierra sign her to a three sixty deal to me. <laughs> I get fifty percent of everything. I'm a emotional <laughs> damage. But she didn't but, stop there. And she, she actually tried to go at a fan that clowned her on Twitter said Dang, I didn't know it was only 2K uh, pretty pretty bees in the world. And she goes, I hope all 2K support you because he only had one monthly <laughs> listening. But people are saying that her posting him is going to give him like thousands of dollars worth of free publicity. So she might actually help out his music. You might even get more sales than her. Uh, all the city boys said, "Everyone, go listen to this guy now." To, to, to get please, yes, yes, go listen to my dog, man. But listen, man, see, I don't understand. You can't get mad that you sold two K when you ain't doing no advertising about it. You well, ain't yeah, had no I don't hit single. Like it. the only thing that you had about this whole thing was, oh, you uh, you you broke up with Quavo, and nobody and knows it except him a little after baby. He lost it, uh, uh, a loved one, a family member. Exactly. And everybody was getting on you about that. Like, oh, this is not the right time. He just lost a loved one. You over just pouring salt on back on, on open wounds. I mean, I feel them like this is this is karma. This is what you get. You should have waited. Understand sometimes you do when you do music, you push it and you sometimes you can't push it back. But I mean at push a point it, like this push it. Push it, it real good. You gotta push this back. But I mean, besides this, even DJ Vlad had to hop into this because at first DJ Vlad was like, if Sweetie did a DJ Vlad interview, she would have easily done 10 times her first week sales, which was only 2K for uh, 2K copies. We actually reached out through one of our people and we told we were told that she won't do anything with Vlad. But turns out they did some digging and it says her publicist doesn't like Vlad. She told me she wouldn't ever have. Uh, her artists do it so apparently like the same person that manages sweetie also manages lizzo oh, excuse um, me and uh some other artist and that the, she doesn't send any of her people to vlad because she has some personal mm -hmm. uh issue with him so and basically what they do so ba and basically what they're saying is that they do it so instead of going to like dj vlad and um uh, but uh like 
hip hop daily and all these other places they 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 seem to like oh these small little places like so instead of going to big boy you go to like oh the person that goes under big boy like the crew that cruise dude yeah and he only has like uh he only has like a certain like what 50k followers and stuff like that so you're really not getting that much stuff so they're saying like oh they're only giving it out to their friends and that's like on the smaller publications but like you know then like, then you go to like the mainstream stuff but, I mean, this is what you need. I mean, like, if you want, I, but at the same time, I don't know if Sweetie if, does she want to be a rapper? Does she want to be just a pretty girl, a pretty face? You think she just want to be a pretty face? That's what she should be. I mean, she like, get more money doing um, like what's the, uh, the Fashion make- Nova makeup, being a model, uh, spreading her hottie sauce or Sweetie sauce. Didn't she get a meal deal? I think she had, yeah, she had the, the McDonald's meal, the uh, Sweetie meal at McDonald's. Yeah, I got all the Sweetie sauce. <laughs> I ate it all up. Hold on. I'm starting to get, hey, wait, do you have a crush on Sweetie? No. Nah. She knows where the DMs are and they open. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hey, my coach is <laughs> hey, he's nasty. Hey, but speaking of nasty, our next topic is so nasty. Rowdy, 